Hey everyone, Dan here and welcome to another video where today I've got a very special package and as you can see, as my face goes slightly out of shot, it's a Japanese package! Woo! So Jem has very kindly organised this very special Japanese mystery package. I have no idea what is inside here, so let's start opening this. I'm actually really, really excited. Here we go. The first item is... Oh! It looks like it's a whole load of food. A whole load of Japanese food. Which means I'm gonna have to eat it. And it's worrying. <laughs> right, let's put the box down here and select the first thing, which is this. And the best thing about this is I have no idea what's inside it, even by looking at the packaging. I mean, what is this? It's like bright green, it has drinks on it. Let's open it. Oh, uh, okay. Let me just try and grab this. Oh! 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 It came off of my hand. It's like candy floss. And it smells like lime. Or melons. What is this? Do I eat it just like this? Let me grab a bit and see what happens. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna do it. It's definitely candy floss. Oh! It's sour. <laughs> It's so sour. It's nice though. It's actually really, really nice. I don't like the feel of candy floss though. But it's pretty nice. It's melon flavour, definitely. It tastes good. <laughs> That's a good start. Ugh. Things are all sticky now. Right then, next we have this fellow. Look at him. Now, I know on the back it says cola. But if... Oh, it says super sour as well. Oh no. Here we go. The great reveal. It's... Okay, that makes sense. That's what they felt like. So they're like really tiny little gem things. And it says Super Sour Cola with this very aggressive man on it. So let's, let's eat one. Oh! Oh god! <laughs> they are so sour! Oh man! There's just one and it's like this big! Dude! So sour! They're nice though, they are nice, but I don't know if I could eat the uh, like 50 little sweets that are in here. They're okay! Next up is a kind of familiar brand. This one is this. So look, everyone knows that brand, it's a Kit Kat, but it also has a little polar bear on it, which worries me. This better not be some kind of polar bear, or is that a seal? I think it's a seal. It better not be like, like seal flavoured Kit Kat. Mmm, let's try it. Oh, oh, it's, it's a white Kit Kat. Whoa, it's got little blue speckles in it as well. Let's try it. That's good. That's good, I could eat that all day. Mmm, it's like, why Kit Kat? That's pretty much all it is. No seal flavour whatsoever, which is, which is a good result. <laughs> Next up, we have this, which looks amazing. And that is why. Look at this little guy right here. He looks so happy. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is going to be some kind of sweet that has jelly watery stuff inside. There's only one way to find out. Aha! Shiny silver sweets. What do you have beneath your shiny wrapper, huh? Here we go. Hmm. Oh, yeah. There's the watery bit. Oh, what is with the Japanese and the sourness? Those are good. The Japanese know how to make candy. Oh, man. So now, I just spotted this. Um, wow. <laughs> It's a, it's a poo, but you, you can't see what I'm seeing. Look at that. It's a, a poo-shaped sweet, and it's got a little face on it. I don't know if you can see it, but wow. I don't know how to open this. Oh, here we go. It's opening. It's opening. That means I have to eat it. It looks like a... Oh, it's, it's really jellified. Man, um, let's try and get this out. Yeah. I can't even get it out the packet like super strength jelly. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's peel it out. I don't want to break it. I don't want to break it at all. <laughs> oh, dude. 
<laughs> what is even going on here? It's a poo shaped sweet gummy. It's got a little smiley face on it. Let's eat it. Oh. Well, it doesn't taste the way it looks, which is a good start. It's cola! Yes! I'm so happy that it's cola and not some other flavour. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> now I can say that I've eaten a poo shaped sweet. Probably not something I want to say out loud, to be honest. Okay, now we're shaking it up a little bit. We have got a drink. Wow, this is amazing. And we've got two, oh, two drinks and the glass, so I need to be very careful. We've got a banana one and a peach one. Now, I've eaten a lot of um, pink colored things already, so I'm gonna go for this drink right here, which is banana. Now, I don't like banana flavored stuff at all, so this is probably, ah, uh, the, the bananas look happy. But I don't think I'm gonna be. I have no idea how I'm supposed to open this. Oh, it's like, this is complex. Ooh. Oh, I thought I broke it, but that's exactly what you're supposed to do. So, we've got this, it, you, don't even, you don't even open it normally. So I need to turn this little thing inside out, poke it through like that, and then, I broke it. <laughs> and it's got like a little kind of ball bearing thing in the top. So now, I need to, to push this, Oh, it's difficult. Ah! Oh, how strong are you in Japan? Oh my goodness, look, it's it's left a red mark on me. Ow! And now, it's fizzy. Did you see the bubbles then? It actually fizzed. It's like a bubble drink. How do we drink it now? Mm. You know what, that's not too bad. I thought this was going to be the worst one that I've seen so far, but it's not. Look how happy the bananas are. Yeah! Wait a second. Can you see that? There's like a... Uh, I don't even know what that is. It's like a circle plastic thing inside. Listen. What? What are you doing in there? Right there. Next, we have... There's quite a lot in here. Some happy looking ice cream things. Yes. Which look like this. They have like bears on, they have pumpkins, they've got ice cream cones. Let's crack this open. Ooh, they come in like packets. <laughs> what does this packet contain, huh? It contains, oh, they're tiny. <gasps> Look how small they are. <laughs> this one is a, a pumpkin. Oh, it's like, these are good as well. I was expecting these to be so funky and weird, but they're, oh, they taste so good. Wow, they taste so good. They're like really, really nice chocolate. And then this is kind of like the middle of a Malteser. I love that. Oh man, I'm as happy as the bear on this packet. Okay, so next we have two things. We're getting near the end now, but we have two things that I have heard of. These are Pockies. Now this one is a milk one. It's got a happy cow on it, of course. And this one, this one's got a bit of English on it. This one says Almond Crush. So, I'm guessing it's got nuts in it. It's got a nice little cup of tea in the background as well. Mm. Let me just say that I love the packaging of Japanese products. We definitely need more of this in the UK. Look, the happy, look how happy the cow is. If everything was packaged like this, so happy, so lighthearted, I would want to buy everything. But no, the UK is super sensible. Okay, let's open this. Mmm, I think I've, I don't even know if, have I tried Pockies before? I think there's a UK version of them, but let's go for these milk ones. Remember the happy cow. Think happy thoughts as I open this pocket. Ow, just punch myself in the face. Ow! Oh, I have the access to one, right then. Da 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 da. Oh, it's like a breadstick with chocolate on it. Here we go. Ah. It is, it's just like, I don't even know what to compare it to. It's white chocolate, which I love, by the way. It tastes so good. And then like a little bread sticky thing. It's so good. <laughs> I really thought I wouldn't like any of this. I need to go to Japan, buy all their candy, and just eat it. It tastes so good. So the milk flavor are a hit, so let's put that back. Now for the almond one. Oh, these ones are a bit bigger. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that! It's really not that appealing whatsoever. Reminds me of something I've eaten earlier in this video. But let's hope I'm also surprised by this one. Let's go. 
Um, oh, very nutty. Oh, definitely tons of nuts in this. Oh, see, I don't mind nuts, but there's this is literally all made out of it. I have to eat the whole thing. I have to. It's actually, no, it's really strong. If, out of all the things I've tried, this is my least favorite. But it's, it's not too bad, I guess. And finally, we have more Kit Kats. So we have, we've tried this one. This one's got a polar bear on it. I don't know if this one is different. We've also got a couple of green ones that have leaves on it. I don't know if I want to try those. And two red ones with letters on. That's all that it has. And a thumbs up. <laughs> Let's try the thumbs up ones. Here we go. They're so tiny. Like, how much would you even charge for a tiny one like this? In the UK, they're like double. Oh, it's red. It's red. Oh, it's, stra it's strawberry. <laughs> a strawberry Kit Kat. No way. Look at that. It's a strawberry red Kit Kat. Oh, my goodness. I'm not usually a fan of strawberry things, to be honest. I, I like strawberries, not strawberry flavored things. The same with like bananas. I love bananas, but not banana flavored things. But anyway, let's put this in in one. Huh? Uh, no, 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 I'm not sure about that. It's not the worst, but it's really, really strong. And the Kit Kat in the middle, if it was by itself without the middle bit, because the middle bit's kind of soggy, <laughs> that's probably on par with the, the almond thing I just ate. Because I don't, I'm not really a fan of strawberry flavored things. Maybe it's just me. So here we go. Finally, we've got the green one with leaves on it. Now, I really hope that this Kit Kat is green. Is it green? Is it green? It's green! It's so green! <laughs> Look at it! It's actually a green Kit Kat. No way. Now I can't tell... I can't smell anything. Like with the strawberry one, it just blasted me with strawberryness in my face. But let's put this one in whole. I'm gonna guess that it's mint. But this is Japan, so you never know. Here we go. What is it? I can't even tell what flavor that is. Huh. Ugh. It's not mint. It tastes like grass. I'm not even lying to you right now. It tastes like grass. Ugh. What is that? What is it? Does it say on the back? Sometimes they have like green. Green? <laughs> Got green on the brain. Sometimes they have English on the back. This one's not giving me any clues. The only clue are the little flowery grass things. I know. That's definitely the worst one. Save the worst till last. I literally felt like I was eating a handful of grass. The lesson has been learned. Never eat anything green, I guess. Mind you though, this was pretty good and this was green. This was one of my favorites actually, but there you go. There is my small collection of Japanese candy and drink and whatever else was here. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be awesome and I will do more. Japan does really, really good candy. That's what I've learned from doing this video. So nice. So yeah, if you did enjoy, please leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be awesome. Thank you, Jim, for putting together this mystery Japanese box. And if you'd like to see some more videos by me, then please do make sure you subscribe and join Team TDM for more videos on this channel. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Green Kit Kats. Of all the things, green Kit Kats.